Hi, I'm Colleen Bolin and I have my Bachelor's of Science from Bluffton University. I'm a Lamar University dietetic intern and today we're going to be talking about weight loss for athletes. Weight loss should take place during the off season versus in season during competition or training so that way fatigue is avoided in the athletes. Weight loss can be achieved in three different ways. It can be achieved by exercising more, it can be achieved by eating less, or it can be achieved through an increase in exercise and a decrease in calorie intake because the overall goal is to burn more calories than what is being taken in. So it's recommended that the athlete has a decrease of 500 calories per day, whether that's achieved through 500 calories more that is burned through exercise, 500 calories that is just cut out within calories consumed, or you can do both exercise and in calorie intake combined so it would be 250 that is burned through exercise and 250 that is decreased through calorie intake to meet the 500 calorie goal. Um, some tips for meeting um, the athlete's plate of weight loss would be to meal prep or have foods ready in advance, such as your protein, grains, and vegetables. So that way it's more convenient and readily available to the athlete. Um, and then an example of the athlete's my plate for the weight management is shown here so we have a four or a half of the plate is fruits and vegetables and then you have a little less than a fourth of a plate is your whole grains and then a little more than a fourth of a plate is your lean protein and then you have a teaspoon of fat and your beverage so an example for an athlete that is trying to lose weight their plate may include a fourth of their plate is a vegetable and a fourth is their fruit so you might have broccoli and then some berries or melon as your uh, fruit of choice. And then your whole grain can include a little bit less than a fourth of a plate of whole grain pasta. And then your lean protein might be some baked or grilled chicken. Your fat can include maybe a teaspoon of guacamole or avocado to add to your chicken. And then I recommend the beverage to be water so that way the more of the calories can be obtained through the meal versus through uh, the beverage. Um, I will be sure to attach the script that includes more information that goes into more detail of what I talked about through this video and then it also includes a handout that gives you a wider variety of some different options of protein, vegetables, fruits, and whole grains to help you mix and match your favorites to create your own plate each and every day. Thank you!